In April 1965, a groundbreaking adventure television series, I Spy, made its debut on NBC. This classic series followed the escapades of two U.S. intelligence agents, Kelly Robinson and Alexander Scott, who traveled the world undercover as international tennis bums. Over the course of three seasons, the duo faced thrilling challenges and missions, all while posing as tennis players. In the mid-1960s, a groundbreaking TV series named I Spy made its debut. This classic show introduced a unique episode structure that revolved around two main characters, Kelly Robinson and Alexander Scott, played by Robert Culp and Bill Cosby respectively. Robinson, portrayed as an amateur, was paired with Scott, who acted as his trainer. Together, they participated in high-stakes tennis matches against wealthy opponents, using the cover of sports to chase villains, beautiful women, and spies. The show's creators, David Friedkin and Morton Fine, along with cinematographer Fad Say, were the driving forces behind the development of iSpy. They created a captivating and intriguing landscape that resonated with audiences, transcending the boundaries of traditional television. The trio's prowess in storytelling and visual representation was evident in every episode, as they skillfully wove together complex narratives that marked an enduring testament to their accomplishments. Each episode of I Spy was a self-contained story, allowing the show to explore a variety of settings and themes. From exotic locales to bustling cities, the show's characters embarked on thrilling adventures that showcased their unique talents and abilities. The show's versatility was one of its greatest strengths, as it was able to tackle complex issues while also providing light-hearted moments of humor and romance. At its core, I Spy was a show about friendship and trust. Despite their differences, Robinson and Scott formed a strong bond that allowed them to work together seamlessly, even in the most challenging of circumstances. Their chemistry was one of the show's greatest assets, as it allowed viewers to become fully invested in their adventures and root for their success. In conclusion, I Spy was a classic television series that left a lasting impact on the world of television. Its unique episode structure, engaging storylines, and memorable characters made it a standout hit that continues to be cherished by audiences today. The show's creators and stars deserve recognition for their contributions to the world of television, as they created a timeless masterpiece that will continue to resonate with viewers for generations to come. The TV series I Spy was produced under the corporation named Triple F Productions, which was formed by three individuals. Among them was Sheldon Leonard, who served as the executive producer for the show. Leonard was no stranger to the entertainment industry, having established a reputation for his gangster roles in various productions. Prior to his work on I Spy, he had also made a name for himself as a producer for The Andy Griffith Show. Under the wing of DeZillu Productions, Triple F Productions created I Spy, which quickly became a classic television series. Leonard's expertise and experience in the industry played a significant role in the show's success. His ability to bring together a talented team and oversee the production process ensured that I Spy was of high quality and appealed to a wide audience. Despite being produced over five decades ago, I Spy remains a popular and beloved television series. Its enduring appeal can be attributed to the exceptional production value and the captivating stories it tells. As an executive producer, Leonard's contributions to the show were invaluable, and his legacy continues to resonate with audiences today. In the mid-1960s, a groundbreaking television series named I Spy made its mark. Leonard B. Pitts Jr., an accomplished figure in the entertainment industry, played a significant role in this classic. Pitts' contributions were diverse and noteworthy, extending beyond his acting skills. Portraying a gangster villain in two episodes, Pitts demonstrated his adaptability in embodying various characters. He also made a guest appearance in a third show as himself, adding another layer to his multifaceted involvement in I Spy. Delving further into the production side, Pitts directed one episode and occasionally took on the role of a second unit director. One of the most remarkable aspects of I Spy was its pioneering spirit. The series broke ground as the first television drama to feature a black actor, Bill Cosby, in a lead role. This groundbreaking decision resonated with audiences and left an indelible mark on television history. Pitt's versatile talents and the show's progressive casting choices made I Spy a captivating and influential part of the television landscape. His work behind the scenes, as well as his on-screen performances, etched his name in the annals of television history. The impact of I Spy and Pitt's contributions continue to be felt, transcending generations and resonating with older adults today.
This classic show stands as a testament to the power of diverse storytelling and the enduring appeal of compelling characters and intriguing narratives. Pitt's work on I Spy remains an important chapter in the analysis of television history. In the initial stages of planning for I Spy, the creators had envisioned an older actor taking on the role of a mentor to Culp's character. However, everything changed when Leonard had the opportunity to see Cosby perform his stand-up comedy. Impressed by Cosby's talent and stage presence, Leonard decided to cast him in the role instead. This casting decision ultimately led to a significant shift in the dynamic between the two lead characters. Instead of a traditional mentor-protege relationship, the creators decided to portray Cosby and Culp as equal partners. This choice added a fresh and unique twist to the show, making it stand out from other spy series of the time. The two actors brought their own distinct strengths to the table, and their chemistry on screen was undeniable. As equal partners, Cosby and Culp's characters were able to bounce off each other and play off each other's strengths. This dynamic allowed for a more balanced and dynamic portrayal of their relationship as they worked together to solve cases and outsmart their enemies. The audience was able to see them as partners rather than one character always taking the lead and the other following. Overall, the casting decision and character dynamics in iSpy added a new and exciting element to the spy genre. By casting Cosby as an equal partner to Culp, the creators were able to create a unique and memorable dynamic between the two characters. This decision helped to set I Spy apart from other shows of its time and continues to make it a classic favorite today. In the groundbreaking 1965 TV series I Spy, race was never a central issue in the storylines, which was quite progressive for its time. The show featured two lead characters, one of whom was played by Bill Cosby, an African-American actor. Cosby's race was occasionally referenced in the dialogue, but it was never a source of conflict or tension. Instead, the focus was on the character's professional relationship and their adventures as secret agents. Cosby's character, Scotty, was portrayed as the brains of the team. He was intelligent, resourceful, and quick-witted, often using his intellect to solve complex problems and outsmart their enemies. In contrast, his partner, Kelly, played by Robert Culp, was the athlete and playboy of the duo. Kelly was charming, physically fit, and often used his good looks and athletic prowess to seduce women and gather information. Despite their differences, Scotty and Kelly had a strong bond and worked well together. They traveled the world, going on secret missions and posing as tennis players to maintain their cover. Through their adventures, they faced various challenges, including dangerous villains, complex puzzles, and moral dilemmas. The show was notable for its realistic portrayal of international espionage and its groundbreaking representation of African Americans on television. Cosby's character was one of the first positive and nuanced portrayals of a black man on American TV, and his presence helped to break down racial barriers in the entertainment industry. Overall, I Spy was a trailblazing TV series that pushed the boundaries of what was possible on television. Its progressive representation of race and its compelling storylines made it a beloved classic that continues to be celebrated today. The 1965 TV series I Spy took inspiration from the James Bond film series and aimed to bring a similar level of excitement and glamour to the small screen. One way it achieved this was through its unique filming approach. Instead of relying on studio stock footage, the series went the extra mile by filming its lead actors at actual exotic locations around the world. This ambitious move allowed I Spy to showcase a diverse range of international settings, from the bustling streets of Tokyo to the sunny beaches of Spain. The show's characters were seen interacting with the local culture and environment, adding a level of authenticity that was rare for television at the time. The decision to film on location also presented its own set of challenges. The production team had to navigate unfamiliar territories and deal with language barriers, all while ensuring the safety and well-being of the cast and crew. But the end result was worth the effort, as the show's exotic locales became a defining feature and helped to set it apart from other spy dramas of the era. The use of real-life locations also added to the show's sense of adventure and escapism. Audiences were transported to far-off lands and immersed in the characters' missions, making I Spy a truly captivating and engaging viewing experience. In conclusion, the filming choices made for I Spy were a key factor in its success and helped to establish it as a classic of the spy genre. By taking the time and effort to film on location, the show was able to bring a level of realism and excitement that was unmatched by its contemporaries. 
In the mid-1960s, the television landscape was filled with spy shows, and I Spy had some tough competitors. Shows like Mission Impossible and The Man from UNCLE were mostly filmed on studio backlots, which made production costs more manageable. However, the producers of I Spy decided to take a different approach, making the show stand out from its competitors. Filming on location was a more expensive and challenging endeavor than studio filming. It required extensive planning and coordination to ensure that the production team had everything they needed to shoot scenes in various locations around the world. Despite the added costs and logistical challenges, the producers of I Spy believed that filming on location would add a level of realism and excitement to the show that couldn't be achieved in a studio setting. Each season, the producers of I Spy carefully selected four or five scenic locations globally to create stories that leverage local attractions. This approach allowed the show to showcase the beauty and diversity of different parts of the world, from the bustling streets of Paris to the sandy beaches of Acapulco. The show's protagonists, Kelly Robinson and Alexander Scott, were international tennis players and intelligence agents, respectively, which provided a perfect opportunity to travel to different countries and film on location. Filming on location also allowed the show's creators to incorporate local culture and customs into the stories, adding depth and richness to the characters and their experiences. The show's writers did extensive research on each location, learning about the local history, customs, and politics to create authentic and engaging storylines. In conclusion, the decision to film I Spy on location was a bold and innovative move that set the show apart from its competitors. While other spy shows were content to film in a studio setting, I Spy took viewers on a global adventure, showcasing the beauty and diversity of different parts of the world. The added costs and logistical challenges of filming on location were well worth it, as the show's producers created a classic that resonated with audiences and left a lasting impact on the television landscape. The success of the 1965 TV series I Spy can be largely attributed to the remarkable chemistry between its two lead actors, Robert Culp and Bill Cosby. Their on-screen partnership was so believable that many viewers assumed they were good friends in real life, and indeed, they were. Culp and Cosby developed a close friendship that mirrored their on-screen characters' relationship. This friendship lasted until Culp's death in 2010, a testament to the strong bond they shared. The two actors spent a lot of time together offset, exploring their surroundings and getting to know each other on a deeper level. This camaraderie translated onto the screen, making their performances more authentic and engaging. The chemistry between Culp and Cosby was so palpable that it became the show's defining characteristic. The two actors had a natural rapport that made their interactions seem effortless and genuine. They played off each other's strengths, creating a dynamic that was both entertaining and compelling. The friendship between Culp and Cosby was not just a professional relationship but a personal one as well. They remained close friends long after the show ended, often spending time together and supporting each other's careers. Their bond was a rare and beautiful thing, and it added an extra layer of depth to their performances in I Spy. In conclusion, the chemistry between Culp and Cosby was the primary reason for the success of I Spy. Their close friendship, which lasted until Culp's death in 2010, was a testament to the strength of their bond. The authenticity of their on-screen partnership made the show a classic that continues to be enjoyed by audiences today. The groundbreaking 1965 TV series, I Spy is well known for its unique phrases and improvised dialogue. One of the most memorable expressions coined by the show was wonderfulness, which even became the title of one of Cosby's comedy albums released alongside the series. The chemistry between the two leads, Bill Cosby and Robert Culp, was electric, often resulting in spontaneous and witty exchanges. Cosby would occasionally incorporate bits of his stand-up routines into his improvised dialogue with Culp, adding an extra layer of humor and authenticity to their interactions. The innovative approach to dialogue in I Spy was a significant departure from the typical TV shows of the time. The show's creators recognized the value of natural, off-the-cuff conversations between the characters, which helped to make the series more relatable and engaging for audiences. The improvised dialogue also allowed Cosby and Culp to showcase their impressive comedic timing and acting skills, further elevating the quality of the show. The unique phrases and improvised dialogue in I Spy not only added entertainment value, but also contributed to the show's enduring popularity. The series' ability to balance action, drama, and comedy in a seamless and organic way has made it a classic in television history.
The memorable exchanges between Cosby and Culp continue to resonate with audiences today, serving as a testament to the power of great writing and talented actors. In the 1965 TV series I Spy, the characters of Alexander Scott, played by Bill Cosby, and Kelly Robinson, portrayed by Robert Culp, offered a unique dynamic. While Kelly Robinson was written as a suave, hard-drinking professional tennis player, details of Cosby's life were incorporated into his character, Alexander Scott. Unlike Robinson, Scott didn't drink or smoke, reflecting Cosby's own personal preferences. Moreover, Scott's background had strong connections to Cosby's real life. The character was often depicted as a child of Philadelphia, just like Cosby, and his education at Temple University was also a reflection of the actor's own alma mater. These personal touches added depth to the character of Alexander Scott and made him more relatable to the audience. By weaving in elements of the actor's own life, the show's creators were able to create a more nuanced and interesting character, one that would resonate with viewers and leave a lasting impact. This classic series truly transcended the boundaries of television at the time, offering a fresh and innovative take on the spy genre. Without a doubt, the character backgrounds and references in I Spy added a richness and complexity to the show that continues to captivate audiences to this day. In the 1965 TV series I Spy, the characters of Kelly Robinson and Alexander Scott had been working together for a few years. Robinson, played by Robert Culp, was the older and more experienced of the two, while Scott, portrayed by Bill Cosby, was his intelligent and skilled partner. Their professional relationship was built on trust and mutual respect, allowing them to execute their missions effectively. The show explored the complexities of their profession, and the characters often grappled with moral questions. They were spies, after all, and their work often required them to bend or break rules, leading to internal conflicts. The weight of their actions and the impact on their psyche and soul were recurring themes throughout the series. Robinson, being more seasoned, sometimes struggled with the morality of their missions, questioning whether the ends justified the means. Scott, on the other hand, was often the voice of reason, reminding Robinson of their duty and the greater good they were serving. Despite their differences, they both shared a deep sense of responsibility and a commitment to their country. As the series progressed, the characters' moral struggles became more pronounced. They began to question not only their missions, but also the very nature of their profession. The show didn't shy away from exploring the darker side of espionage, and the characters' internal conflicts added depth and complexity to their relationship. In the end, I Spy was more than just a spy show. It was a thought-provoking exploration of team dynamics and moral questions, offering a nuanced portrayal of two characters navigating the complexities of their profession. The show's willingness to tackle these issues made it a classic that continues to resonate with audiences today. In the 1965 TV series I Spy, the main characters, Kelly Robinson and Alexander Scott, had a unique bond. They referred to each other as brothers and often pondered what kind of life they would have had outside of espionage. This bond was a central theme throughout the show, as the two men relied on each other in dangerous situations, and their camaraderie was a key part of the series' appeal. The series also featured many guest stars, including the talented Joey Heatherton. She appeared in a two-episode endeavor, showcasing her versatility as a singer, dancer, and actress. Heatherton was a familiar face on variety shows in the 1960s and 70s, and her appearance on I Spy was a highlight of the series. Joey Heatherton's career was on the rise during the time she appeared on I Spy. She had already made a name for herself as a talented performer, and her appearance on the show was a chance to showcase her acting skills. Heatherton's performance was well received, and she went on to have a successful career in entertainment. In conclusion, I Spy was a classic TV series that featured a strong bond between the two main characters, Kelly Robinson and Alexander Scott. The show also had many guest stars, including the talented Joey Heatherton, who made a memorable appearance in a two-episode arc. Heatherton's career was on the rise at the time, and her performance on I Spy was the highlight of the series. In April 1969, I Spy star Joey Heatherton married Lance Rensel, a wide receiver for the Dallas Cowboys. Their marriage was the talk of the town, uniting the glamorous world of show business with the thrilling realm of professional sports. However, their union was not meant to last. In November 1970, Renzel was arrested for exposing himself to a 10-year-old girl, an act that shocked and appalled the public. The scandal quickly overshadowed the couple's once-happy marriage, leading Heatherton to file for divorce in September 1971. 
The divorce was a difficult and trying time for Heatherton as she struggled to come to terms with the actions of her husband. The scandal had not only tarnished Rensel's reputation, but had also left a lasting mark on Heatherton's career and personal life. Despite the challenges she faced, Heatherton remained resilient and continued to work in the entertainment industry. However, the scandal of her divorce had forever changed the trajectory of her career and personal life. In 1965, the groundbreaking TV series I Spy made its debut, breaking barriers in the world of television. This classic starred two leading actors, Robert Culp and Edmund O'Brien, in the first season, before the arrival of a new cast member, a young and talented actress named Joey Heatherton. Heatherton's addition to the show brought a fresh dynamic to the series, and she quickly became a fan favorite. However, Heatherton's career was not without its challenges. In 1985, she faced a significant scandal that would impact her life and career forever. Heatherton was arrested for interfering with a government agent's duties and disturbing the peace. The incident was a shock to her fans and the entertainment industry, causing her career to lose its luster. The scandal took a toll on Heatherton's mental health and she never fully recovered from the psychological shock. The once promising actress struggled to find work in the industry, and her career never reached the heights it had during her time on I Spy. Despite the challenges she faced later in her career, Heatherton's contributions to I Spy were significant. Her portrayal of a talented tennis player and love interest for Culp's character added depth and complexity to the show. The chemistry between Heatherton and Culp was undeniable, and their scenes together remain some of the most memorable in the series. I Spy was a groundbreaking show in many ways, and Heatherton's addition to the cast only added to its appeal. The series transcended the typical spy genre, offering a unique blend of action, drama, and humor. The show's success was a testament to the talent and versatility of its cast and crew, and its impact is still felt today. The scandal that Heatherton faced in 1985 was a difficult time in her life, but it did not define her career or her contributions to the entertainment industry. Her work on I Spy remains a significant part of her legacy, and her talent and charisma continue to captivate audiences to this day. In the 1960s, I Spy became a groundbreaking television series, not just for its spy-themed storylines, but also for its casting choices. Among its main actors, Robert Culp and Bill Cosby, there was a woman who made headlines both on and off the set. Her name was Jill St. John an accomplished actress who played the role of a spy in the show's first season. However, St. John's life was not without controversy. In 1965, she was arrested for theft of services after refusing to pay a 4900 bill from a hotel and spa. The incident made headlines and tarnished her reputation, but it did not stop her from continuing her career in Hollywood. Years later, in 1986, St. John was once again in the news, this time for a more serious offense. She was arrested for assault after stabbing her former boyfriend and ex-manager Jerry Fisher in the hand with a steak knife during an argument. The incident was a shocking turn of events for the actress, who had always been known for her charm and wit. Despite these incidents, St. John's contributions to the entertainment industry cannot be overlooked. Her work in I Spy paved the way for future actresses to take on more substantial roles in television and film. And while her personal life may have been marred by controversy, her talent and dedication to her craft have left an indelible mark on the world of entertainment.